Hey guys, it's Ivana and welcome to Intellecta. Today we have something very interesting. So we are going to be talking about a function that I believe not many of you have heard of. This function is given by an amazing American mathematician, Dan Kelman. If you want to know more about this function, stay with me till the end and let's get started. As an introduction to this function, let us take a look at the quadratic equation. Here we have x squared is equal to 4. We all know for solving this equation we have to take the square root. Uh, that means this equation is solvable in terms of the special function square root of x, which is the inverse of a simple quadratic equation. What if we have something like this? So we have the exponential equation. 5 raised to the power of 2x is equal to 21. This equation can be solved by taking the logarithm of both sides. That means this equation is solvable in terms of the logarithm, which is the inverse of a very simple exponential equation. This all implies that the new function will also be defined as the inverse of some function. But what if you have something like this? So now on the one side we have an exponential expression and on the other side we have a linear expression. And to equations of this type we refer as exponential linear equations. So how to solve this type of equations? So to solve this type of equations you can use the Newton's method but um, you will get just approximate solutions. So to solve this type of equations we will introduce a new function uh, designed just for solving the exponential linear equation. And this function is called the glog function. The glog function is a generalized logarithm for exponential linear equations. The glog function possesses similar properties and common applications as the Lambert W function. By the way, if you want to know more about the Lambert W function, you can find the link in the comments and in the description down below. Um, so I have the whole playlist just about the Lambert W function. Okay, now let's define the glog function. Uh, just, as square root of, just as square root of x is the inverse of the quadratic equation and the logarithmic function is the inverse of a simple exponential equation, so is the new function also inverse of some function. And we say that the glog function is nothing else than the inverse of function e to the x over x. So we have So the g log function is the inverse of the function e to the x over x. Now let's find that inverse. We will find this inverse if we consider a simple type of exponential linear equations, such as e to the x is equal to c times x. Now rewriting this here, we will have e to the x over x is equal to c, and now, in analogy with the examples, x squared is equal to 4 and 5 raised to the power of 2x is equal to 21, we can take that our x is equal to inverse of this here and it's e to the y over y. Why e to the y over y? We know if you want to find the inverse of some function, we have to replace x's and y's and that's why we have, instead of x, we have y and that's so in the denominator. Now let's define our glog function. So this is the definition for the glog function. We have that y is equal to glog of x if and just if x is equal e to the y over y if and just if e to the y is equal to x times y. So this is our definition. Now let's see how the graph of the glog function looks like. On this graph you can see the logarithmic function and the glog function. Notice for x is less than 0, the glog function is well defined and negative. For x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than e, the glog function is not defined. And for x is greater than 0, the glog function has two values. The larger we call glog x and the smaller we call glog minus. So this was all for the glog function. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Till the next time, please watch my video about the Lambert W function. And till the next video, stay healthy, stay positive and do some math.